guys hope all is well with everyone today so here is another get ready with me i'm not too sure if i'm gonna talk or do a voiceover please like and subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned to see the look that i do <laughs> All right, guys, I decided to talk this out because it's probably going to be complicated for me to say this through voicemail, voicemail, voiceover. I'm going to um go in with the True Complexion Custom Concealer in the color um Fear to Deep. Fear, what's Fear to Light? I don't know where that says Fear to Light, but it's Fear to Light. And I'm using this color right here to kind of... And I'm using, I think these are the LA Girl dollar brushes. And I'm just going to carve that out um, on my lid. I thought this might be easier to work with, but maybe not because it feels dry. And I don't like how that's coming out. Alright, so we're going to move on to a different one. This one's too dark. to use my Bare Minerals concealer. I think this is in deep. Because this is more like a creamier creamier base, put it like that. And it doesn't dry too bad. Like any concealer I work fast. And I like this concealer because it does hide any pigmentation that I have on my lids. So that's why I really like it. I like this brush because it's like flat and it can kind of somewhat give you the illusion that you kind of cut in your crease. Which I guess in some aspect it's that. I'm putting a little bit more just because I want something to... I'm just taking my time and kind of carving out my eyelid. That's it. And that's how I do it. I hope you guys can see. So I basically just go in and I just go around it. I hope you guys can see how I kind of carve it out I call it it's not really cutting it it's more like for me 
it's more carving it out. That's how I say it. And this is deep if I didn't say that. I'm sorry guys, I think I'm coming with a flu. Um, what am I doing next? What am I doing next? Now, I want to set this because I'm going to probably use my black opal in deep, in dark to set this concealer if I can get it open. And I'm just going to like just kind of use, this is the um, LA Color brush tool. I'm just going to like lightly brush that over it. Yeah, just brush that over. Just simply brush that over. And just to say, I don't know what look I'm going for. We're just going to wing it as always. It's like you always wing it. Yeah, because when I plan, it doesn't work out too well. Just saying. Alright, guys, so I put the concealer, I set it. Now I want to try one of these. These are the Cutie Pop glitter. The five, um, no, the six piece actually. That's what they look like. You guys can see it. Like, yeah. So I am, um, I was tempted I want to use this purple, but I don't know if this look is going to use this purple, but we're going to use it. You see? Yeah, I want to try that purple. I don't know. Don't get me lying. Is this going to work out good? I don't know. And I love the Elf's um, eyeshadow, blah, eyeshadow, blah, blah, the eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to see if I can just pick up without even using the glitter glue. Let's pick up some concealer and let's see how this works. Oh, okay. You guys can see that? I hope you guys can see that. It's not that bad. A little bit of fallout, I will say, but not too crazy. I'm keeping my eyes shut so you guys can see. So you will, um, so not good to my eye if you see I'm squinting because I'm also trying to see too. Next time, I think I will use a glitter glue, it just makes it a little bit easier. I will say it's not really creased, like really go where I want it to go to. It's just the fallout. It's just, whew. It's not a lot. You guys can see it's not a lot. It's just a little bit here. Maybe you guys can't see, but I can see it's a little bit. And I'm not sure about this lid color. I think I'm going to change this lid color, the, my crease color to something more purple or something. Yeah, then we'll change that. All right, guys. So I just use this little my little cotton and just to clean up with my Garnier um, micellar water and I just use it to kind of take off wipe off the um, fallout alright now I'm gonna go in with a purple this works this is my violet gloss pro yes and it does have a purple I was right and this purple right here I think I want to go in with that purple Let's see if it works. Let's see. I just want to darken this up a little bit. Oh, I'm getting glitter on it. I need a more defined brush. Something not so... Maybe this one? I don't know. This is my Gunmetals Morphe G24. Just gonna knock that off. Put that much on. And go in the crease and hope for the best. All right, it's starting to look maroon. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's looking maroon. Can you see that difference? I like it though. It's this color it is. Just go in and kind of guide over. Yep, this is going to be the color. I don't think the brush is too small too. Too big rather. This is the Morphe M22. And I think this is what I needed because it just goes right into the crease without really disturbing. Yes, can you guys see that? Yes. I like how that comes out. Yes. Much better. It's more like a pencil brush. Well, it's like a pencil brush. It just like puts the color 
right where you need it and then just blend that out a little bit. So it doesn't look so harsh. Okay, I'm going to darken it a little bit. Blend it out when I'm finished. Okay, I kind of disrupt. If you don't look and see, I kind of disrupt a little bit of the glitter. But let's hope for the best. I'll put a little more glitter. We'll see how it works, eh? I'm doing purple. Purple is... All right, guys, so I just blend that out with my G Metal, the G Metal 24. Then I went in with my um, Morphe, I don't know if camera caught it, but my Morphe E17. Um, and trust me, when you're not sure about a look, just blend it out. I'm, that's going to be my thing. Whenever in doubt, blend it out, definitely. It does help. Alright, I'm going to reach, this is the Maybelline Last Sensation. And I'm just going to put this on my lashes. And my itty bitty lashes. Please take your time when you're doing your mascara. I'm always rushing, I don't know why. I don't always have somewhere to go. I'm always rushing. I think I know glitter on that. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pop on my lashes and then we are going to do the face. I'm gonna use these lashes. I think these are the Ardell Wispies. I just put it in my little container. But I'm going to use these lashes right here. Alright guys, this this lash has been seen better days, but I do like how the look came out. If you guys can see it. Um, <clears throat> I didn't want to go too crazy because the top is too crazy. So basically, I used just the Max Intense Dimension 3D Lash on my bottom lashes. Just to give a little dimension to the bottom without putting any color on there. I'm going to jump in now into my face because I think it's been a long time. I used the Maybelline um, Baby Skin um, Erase. Instant pore eraser. I'm gonna speed this up. And I just put this really in my on my nose. Well not really on my nose, beside my nose, just to kinda hide any pores. Then I use my LA Girl. LA Girl Pro Prep Prime. I think this was in my um my September favorites. I when I tell you I love this stuff, I like lather this stuff. I love this stuff my face it just makes everything looks nice and smooth and I love it love it love it love it now I haven't used it in a while this is my NYX above and beyond full um concealer in orange it looks like that I'm going to use one of my I think it's Dorito because I used it today earlier I'm gonna use my don't judge me this is the the AOA Miss A the dollar brush line I'm gonna spray that with my fix plus and then I'm just gonna put this on anything I'm trying to hide all the any this coloration right in here and some that you probably don't see but I see it <laughs> right in here yep all those under my eyes then I go in with my my brush and I just kind of blend that out I don't go too crazy with it I'm probably going more in danger because I'm. Mm -hmm. I always color correct before, but we're gonna do a color correct now. I'm gonna speed this up, and it's nothing crazy. I just it just takes a while because I like to blend it into my skin so it kind of sets in. So you'll just see that.
All right, guys, call it, call it correct. I'm gonna go on my Elf's um, Beauty Sponge and the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I have the color in 420 now. Let's use that much. I have 410, and I did a whole review, and you can see how 410 looks um, on me if you're interested. I will link that video below. But I just put like 410 when it oxidized. It just was a little, little too pale. And I know probably on camera this looks like, um, this is a little too, like, orange. But it oxidized really nice. I always get nice complexion. The complexion. Nice. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't talk complexion. I always get nice, um, comments on, um, that's not what I'm trying to say. Brain freeze. Compliments. Sorry, guys. I was going in a little bit on how my skin looks very nice underneath it. I will say it is not full coverage, but it is buildable, so you can make it look like full coverage, if you understand. If you know what I mean, like, you really can build this up. I, you have to be careful, in my opinion. Like with any foundation, if you put too much, you can look that cakey look. But I'm telling you, like, this looks like skin. Just like your skin with a nice little tinted glow. So if you're probably using um, me as your foundation um, reference, I have it in 420. And I will link the my whole Fenty when I use 410 below, if you just want to look. All right? That's basically what I do. Like, I don't do my neck because it's, like, almost similar. And it's not that serious for me. And I really just, like, this sponge is, like, the bomb when it comes to foundation. It just blends in your foundation, but it doesn't leave you all cakey, if that makes sense. Okay. <clears throat> I miss a project. I don't know how long this video is going to be. So if it's really, really long, I'm so sorry. And thank you for sitting through to watch this. I just want to put that out there. Now I use my, my Sasha Buttercup. Just to kind of show like I this is my cheat sheet to say I, I kind of highlighted but I didn't and I put it underneath there and I don't bake I just kind of press it in I really don't bake at all not, not much this is my little cheat sheet and I just kind of press that in just to pretend like I did when I didn't <laughs> and I kind of bring that down I love it it's so dusty goodness oh, camera showing this I was using this side that I didn't use I use this side for my foundation using this side for my powder okay all right next I will do a contour this is the elf I have never used this before but this is the elf um prime and set finishing powder but it's kind of dark for me i think it would suit me better for like contouring so let's see how it works so can i chase mm. Mm. yeah i like it for that yeah a little bit i know we don't contour a lot because i don't know when i'm really in the mood <laughs> I do like how that came out. Yep. I don't know if it looks too... It looks too red. It looks too red on camera. It didn't even come out that red. But it looks all red on camera. It didn't come out this red, guys. Trust. They both that look red and it didn't come out. It's not even... Why is my camera making it look so red? I'm going to blend it up a little bit. Alright guys, I'm going to use a little bit of the powder again. It's kind of on my cheeks, so once again, it gives that illusion that I've been sitting here and baking when I haven't. I just want to show up, brush off the powder. Alright guys, and then I'm going to use something so simple, right? I'm not going to do no blush. Or, oh, actually, I should do a blush. I should do a blush, right? What I need to, I'm sure I'm going to try one of this, this little 
this is the that's too much right I'm gonna try it anyway I'll show it on this is the Sephora blush blush me in the color I don't know blush me I guess that's the color I guess so be careful I did use this blush before and it will have you really looking like a clown if you don't be careful okay let me do a little tint to it without going over the top okay we're gonna see a simple look i'm gonna use my elf's um lip gloss i think it's baby lips i think this is like the first lip gloss I've ever used when I was getting to makeup like years ago. I used to love this because I didn't have to like line my lips or anything with this. It just it's a nice little pink gloss and it reminds me of the Rihanna Fenty um the Universal Balm gloss. I love it. And I was actually gonna wear that today, but I have to give it a rest. I've been using it like every day. It's crazy. Right, so I think this is the look. I don't know. I think so. All right, guys, this is the final look. I hope you like. Um, please leave some comments below if there's any other look you'd like me to try. This eye is giving me so intense purple. I love it though. I think I really need to get in colors. I'm not. I have so much of these beautiful colors and I don't really use them anymore. So this is giving me a chance to kind of see what I have, use some colors, stop the shopping, and actually use some of my products up. But anyway, I'm not going to ramble. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you again once again if you stuck through. I don't know how long this video is, but if it's a long video, I'm so sorry. And thank you for sticking through it. I'll try to speed it up in editing so it's not so long. But if it happens to be, just throw that out there. Anyway, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment if you haven't before, if you haven't already. And once again, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.